Hello everyone. Welcome back or welcome for the first time. This is the Soul Guidance for Your Career Facebook Live and this is episode 15. I'm so happy to be here with you live or those of you who are listening to the transmission. And today's topic is going to be all about increasing your ability to receive. And so super excited that we're connecting here on the full moon and this week is the summer solstice. So perfect, perfect time together like this. So before anything else, let's go ahead and tune in and just create a sacred space for us to connect. So wherever you are, if you can take some nice cleansing breaths. Hello, Lorenza. And feel the earth underneath you. And you might feel extra, you know, a little more ungrounded than normal because of the full moon. Or you might feel a lot of emotions coming up and that's totally normal. But feel those roots going deep, deep, deep into the earth. Feeling so grounded, so anchored. And let's bring the palms of our hands together in front of our heart. And as you take some nice breaths, feeling your heart center, and I welcome everybody here who is live, everyone who will watch this transmission. And invite your beautiful soul to be present. Of course, your soul is always with you, but when we do this, you're saying yes to receiving your soul's guidance and healing as we connect. And I see a beautiful circle of light and love around all of us. And I ask that everyone who is meant to watch this be led to this transmission. And we bow to each other and to ourselves and end and begin with a namaste. Namaste. Hey, Katie, good morning. So, as I said, today, episode 15, the topic is, the theme is increasing your ability to receive. So if you remember last time, you know, it's June, right? I mean, June is so amazing. June, full moon today, summer solstice coming up. Half of the year. I mean, think about that. We're halfway through 2019. And I talked about last time how June is all about that solar energy, right? The energy of our divine masculine. That energy that helps us to take action steps on the guidance that we're taking, that we're receiving from our soul. So last time we talked all about that. Today, as I was meditating and connecting, it was really clear that with the summer solstice coming and the full moon today, there are so many blessings that are here for you, right? There's so much for you to receive. So many seeds you've planted these first six months and for years, for lifetimes even. However, there is a process of knowing and being able to receive the blessings. And that might seem so strange because receiving might seem like the easiest thing to do, but it's actually really hard. We, a lot of people, a lot of us, a lot of especially sensitive um, light workers, earth angels, you know, wellness professionals, healers, wh whatever you call yourself, we tend to be so focused on giving, that's one, right? So that we forget, or you might even have burdens around, well, it's better to give than to receive. And I know there are so many prayers that say that. One of my favorite prayers is St. Francis, which the St. Francis prayer, which has a line about something like that, giving to receive, better to give than to receive. When I'm talking about increasing our ability to receive, that's on all levels and primarily the first level is what we've talked about before, receiving from your own beautiful soul. Hello, Sue. Receiving from spirit, from the divine. Receiving in that way so then you can give from that place. That's what I'm talking about. And today with the full moon, this full moon in Sagittarius, I believe, and I'm, I'm so not an astrology expert just to say, but um, I know, you know, full moon's completion, right? And this particular full moon, is so much about culmination. So again, for today's Facebook Live, there will be a combination of, I wanna invite you, I invite you to reflect on the first six months of 2019. 
And depending on how your year has been, you might be all like, yes, I want to do that. There were so many blessings. There was so much I learned. Or maybe you had a pretty intense first six months and you might be thinking, oh my gosh, I'm just ready for these next six months. However, before we can step into this next half of the year, it's really essential and crucial that you integrate the lessons, the blessings, the healings of the beginning of the year, and that you acknowledge, you celebrate all of the growth you've done. And if there are burdens, if there are things that you don't want to take with you the next six months, then it's important to essential, really, especially on this full moon, especially as we're leading to the summer solstice, to declare, to intend, to say, I do not want to take this with me. I am done. Thank you for the lesson I am letting you go. So there, that's there's that part of it. And then with the summer solstice, again, it's that sun, abundance, gratitude, blooming. It's really, you can, there's so many levels, but I'm focused here, right, on your career and sharing your soul's medicine. So it's really a moment in time where the energies of the, the planetary energies, it's like they're putting this beautiful spotlight on you, right? Imagine that, this beautiful golden spotlight. And you might be uncomfortable being in the spotlight, right? But you're on the spotlight. First of all, to see yourself, to see your beauty, your gifts, your light, your perfection already. That's the first. In fact, I'm seeing right now, like you're standing on this beautiful mountain or hill, this beautiful platform, this golden light, this spotlight on you, and this beautiful mirror in front of you. And you look at yourself in this mirror, and this is this magical mirror that just shows the truth of who you are. And the truth of who you are is this beautiful, amazing being of light, a leader. Yes, you are being called to lead, whatever that looks like for you. So as we get ready, you know, as you ride the energy of the full moon today, which might bring up a lot of stuff to come up for release, for acknowledgement, which is good, right? It's clearing you to receive as the summer solstice comes. We intend with this Facebook Live, with the healing transmission, when I do the meditation, when I do the transmission, really, of healing, to clear the burdens, the old beliefs you have about yourself that could keep you from receiving your divine inheritance, really. And there's a, another aspect of this. The part of you, it's so interesting, the part of you that knows how to receive, that is just so innocent and pure and just joy is your inner child. At the same time, you might have wounded inner child parts as well, right? Which is why we so often exile our inner children because they're wounded, they've been shamed, we think it's silly to connect with our inner child, whatever, whatever lies, you know, you, you've been told or we've told ourselves. But as the summer solstice comes, you know, when I was taking a walk before the class, before this transmission today, I was really feeling the full moon because I was having all this emotion come up like, okay, it's clearing and I'm feeling the summer solstice and feeling like, okay, yeah, there's all these blessings that want to come, that want to come to you. I mean, I feel that, you know, and uh, hello, Martha, all these blessings and light that wants to come to you. And yet all these burdens that we might have around receiving. And as I was walking, I was, I remembered that last night I was compelled to look through old photo albums and I pulled out pictures of me as a little girl. And I realized, oh, I'm going to do an altar to my inner child. An altar, you know, sometimes you hear altar and you think, oh, you'd make an altar to remember deceased past ones. You can do that, but that's, that's just one small little way you can use altars. Altars are a way to honor, are a way to connect with our divine self, are a way to harness intentions. I have altars all over my house. My whole house is an altar. So, um, 
but having a little space, you know, I took these pictures of me as an inner child and I was really feeling like, oh gosh, yeah, she needs, and I've done a ton of work with my inner child, with my clients, you know, help them a lot with that. But having this inner child altar, one where you listen to your inner child, inner children, because we have many, and you love that inner child, you really embrace her. You don't shame her. You don't say it's silly or dumb. Oh, you know, I'm 44. Why do I need to connect with my inner child? Like, yeah, our inner child, you know, my one of my teachers, Kyra, she calls our inner child, the, the part of us that was untouched by trauma, that is just innocent and pure and ready to just receive all the blessings and give. She calls that the Phoenix child, right? So connecting with your, your Phoenix child Hello, Judy. And at the same time, acknowledging your inner children that might be wounded. I know my inner children, a lot of them hold up. And I've done a lot of healing, so we've released a lot of burdens, but a lot of them are still very tender. And part of my work as I share my healing with others is first and foremost to extend that healing to myself. So I want to show you one of my, this is when I was five. There I am. <laughs> And it was so um, like amazing to find these pictures of myself and, and really let myself not just like, oh, that was when I was five, whatever, many years ago, but to really recognize, oh, that part of me is still inside. And I know this. I mean, that's, I literally was trained in a therapeutic model that works with all of our inner parts. But there's still something really different when, <laughs> thank you, Larissa, when we just really create a daily practice of embracing, of connecting with these inner children, loving them, but also letting our Phoenix child, right? Our Phoenix child is just so like adorable and so like, oh, this knows that spirit is taking care of her, that angels are all around her that she is lovable just because of how she is, not because of what she does. That is what the summer solstice can help us do. So I invite each of you, you know, to, to get, you know, here's a couple of my other inner child pictures. That's me as a flower girl, All right? Get some of your, your child pictures. And if you don't have some, that's okay. Find another way to represent your inner child but most of you probably do and create a little altar it might be a windowsill it might be just a little corner of a table or you might have a bigger space and it might be bring up emotion in fact it probably will and that's okay you don't it's not for you to drown in that emotion but just to recognize like oh yeah you know maybe your inner child at some point experienced trauma that made her or him because we have inner children of both genders just so you know and no genders maybe something happened in your life that made your inner child afraid of receiving like it didn't feel safe to receive or maybe she was told you know it's selfish to receive you need to put yourself last you need to stand back there and not be noticed whatever right so we're bringing that forward for healing and one thing I forgot to say, you probably noticed, I've got my peacock earring and I've got my peacock shawl. I think you can see it. It's peacock energy. And I've got the peacock feather here. You can look at it. It's beautiful. The reason I brought in peacock medicine, I think Phoenix Child and Peacock align you know peacock is all about and we've talked about this before i've talked about this before it's all about being seen i mean think about a peacock they they can't hide even if they wanted to right but it's like they're a feather they're just so radiant and seen in the world that's what we are being called to do and especially as the summer solstice is coming upon us it is i am going to be seen and all my light and love and also my vulnerability, my tenderness. It's not about being perfect. Even though we are all perfectly divine, we're, we're in this human form. And in this human form, we have feelings and we have burdens and we have wounds. And that's totally okay. 
It's what we do with those, right? It's like loving them, acknowledging them, not drowning them or over drowning in them or over analyzing them. That's not what I'm talking about. So you're not using them as a crutch, like, oh, I have all these wounds, so I can't move forward. No, so I have all these wounds. I'm going to love them and I'm going to continue to move forward. That's what this is about. And that's what makes you a leader. So the other thing with peacock, I've shared this before. Peacocks have this amazing quality that they are immune to many poisons. They can be bitten by like a rattlesnake, I believe it is, and not, and they're just like immune to that poison. So peacock also brings that medicine of transmutation. Think of all the poisons you've ever experienced in your life. The poison of criticism, of judgment, the poison of being told you're ugly or being told you're too sensitive or being told you're not good enough or whatever, whatever, whatever. All those poisons. You might be telling yourself poisons, right? You might be saying stuff like that or, or, or maybe not as harsh, but still things like, oh, why do, I, why do you feel bad or don't be silly or what's wrong with me? Or Those are all poisons as well. So peacock medicine, so peacock medicine brings in that energy of also transmuting the poisons into nectar into blessings oh how beautiful that is and peacock of course we know that it's the male bird that has all those colors right so that represents our own divine masculine energy so when the summer solstice comes we're not forgetting about the divine feminine the divine feminine is the one that receives all that beautiful guidance that says it's time to write that book. It's time to write that blog. It's time to go do Reiki on others. It's time to get that part-time job. It's time to whatever it is, right? Uh, to share this new offering. It's time to let people know you do Reiki. It's time to share your intuition. Whatever it is that you're feeling guided to do, that's your inner divine feminine is, is reminding you of that. It's not reminding you, it's receiving that guidance. Hello, Colleen. And then the divine masculine comes and says, all right, I heard the guidance, let's take those action steps. So today, before we, I do the meditation and the healing transmission, let's recap. Today is the full moon. Full moon in Sagittarius. Right? This full moon is like culmination. It's coming at the six month mark, right? The six months of 2019 have passed. So I, you know, take some time to take a walk, to journal, whatever you need to do to acknowledge all of the growth and the healing and the changes and the courage that you showed already in 2019. And if there's any burdens, if there's anything that you're like, ugh, I don't want to take with me the next six months, set that intention. And today, as we do the meditation, you can set that intention as well. Then we have the summer solstice this coming Thursday. Spotlight on you, this beautiful golden spotlight of the sun on you with this mirror in front of you that is showing you this is who you are. It is time now to come out and be in the spotlight even more than before. Whatever it is that makes you shaky and feel vulnerable and tender, that's the thing. And I shared my, my inner child. There she goes. <laughs> um, you know, I invited you, and this isn't easy work. You know, on the surface, it might seem like silly, like, oh, inner child work, so silly. I'm like about beyond that. It is some of the hardest, most vulnerable work you can do most courageous work you can do, the work that will bring you the most abundance as well. So find, if you are willing and able and courageous enough to set up an altar for your inner child, put a picture of yourself as a little girl, send her healing because any blocks we have around receiving, because this is a, the thing in the summer solstice, we are meant to receive abundance and blessings. So whatever it is you've been working on this year or many years or this whole lifetime or many lifetimes, summer solstice opens this gate to receive whether it, whatever it is, whether it's health, whether it's um, emotional healing, whether it's money, finances, a house, whatever it is that your heart is asking you to receive. But we have blocks around receiving. We just do and our inner children often hold those blocks. So, thank you, Lorenz. I see her saying, I am willing to set up an altar. Yes. So, you're going to send love this inner child, but you're also connecting with your inner phoenix child, right? That inner child of you that is was never touched by any burdens. It's like, I mean, not that God is Santa Claus, so I, I don't like using this example in a way, but just to get it. When you meet a child who 
is totally just, you know, in that age, whatever, three, four, five, and they're just so like, oh yes, the Tooth Fairy and Santa Claus, they totally are so open to all of that. They believe in all of that magic. And this, and the truth of course is that there is magic. And so this inner Phoenix child is all about, is she's the one that's like, of course, of course the universe is gonna provide this. Of course the divine loves me right now and wants me to share my medicine in the way that brings me the most ease and flow. So when you set up this altar, you're also acknowledging that. You're not just acknowledging the wounds, you're sending healing to the wounds, but you're acknowledging, to me, my inner Phoenix child kind of looks like this. Not that little boy, I don't really honestly know who he is, but <laughs> I'm a flower child there at a wedding. Um, and I just have several pictures of that and I'm just like glowing, walking through the aisle, like just like, yes, look at me. You know, that's who I want you to connect with as well. And the peacock. I really think about you having these peacock feathers and this also represents our third eye. Your third eye opens so right at your forehead like that. Okay, so let's do our transmission, our meditation. Okay, so take some nice cleansing breaths. And we already grounded at the beginning of the transmission, but just take a moment again to bring your awareness to the base of your spine. Bring your awareness to your thighs and knees and ankles and feet. And see those beautiful roots of light going down your legs and out the bottoms of your feet, deep, 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 deep into the earth. You're feeling so grounded and anchored and then we set the intention to connect all of our roots. So connect your roots with everyone watching live, everyone who's going to watch the recording. Just a gentle connection. But we do this because when our roots connect, we create this beautiful network that allows us to receive even more healing and allows you to release even more. So we send gratitude to everyone who's here. Again, live or listening to the transmission because this goes beyond time and space. So now breathing in that beautiful earth energy up your feet, up your legs, up to your hips. Let it swirl up your spine. Maybe you kind of do a little swirl too, almost like a snake, right? That Kundalini energy up your spine, up the back of your neck, all the way to the crown of your head. So I want you to feel like you're sitting on this throne of the earth. So held, so supported. And in this space, bringing your hands, palms of your hands over your heart center. And if your eyes are open, I invite you to close your eyes. Or you can leave them open, focus on something in front of you. Whatever helps you to go inside. And with your eyes closed, feeling this beautiful golden light in your heart, knowing that your heart is the entryway to your soul. Feeling how happy your soul is to connect with you. And in your mind, I invite you to see yourself on this golden path. And you're at the center of this golden path. So there's a golden path in front of you, but then you turn around, you turn back and you're like, whoa, there's a golden path behind me. So you recognize like, Oh, this represents 2019. And I'm standing right here in the middle in June of this year. And I want you to see, looking up at the sky in this inner journey, there's that beautiful full moon. The full moon, you can feel how much she is supporting your path. You see this full moon and you can feel, perhaps you feel some emotion coming up as the full moon helps you to let go and release what doesn't serve you. And as you're standing there at the center of this path, 
you know that your soul is right next to you. So see your soul standing next to you. Feel yourself holding your soul's hand. And then see her move in front of you and she holds both of your hands in her hands. And of course your soul is beyond gender, but for this moment, perhaps you see her in that female energy. And maybe she looks just like you, just more radiant, more lit up. And she's right in front of you, transmitting this beautiful healing energy. You have the moon, the full moon above you, your soul in front of you. And then ahead, a couple of steps in front of you is the summer solstice waiting. And as you stand there, your soul says to you, Oh my gosh, you have done so much healing in 2019 already. You have taken so many steps. You have cleared so much. And as you stand there, she brings a transmission directly into your third eye so that you see in your mind a movie unfolding of all of the growth and healing and courage. And some of these might have been difficult that has happened already in this year. And maybe you just see energy, but maybe you actually see a movie of all these different scenes. Look at everything you've let go of. Look at everything that you have learned. Look at everything you have applied. Look at all the challenges that have happened. But here with your soul and the full moon and the summer solstice ahead of you, you see how all of it is in divine order. All of it has led to healing or is leading to healing. And as your soul holds, continues to hold your hands and look into your eyes, she says that there are some things you are holding that it wouldn't benefit you to take them with you. She's saying you are ready to let go of some of this. You don't need to carry some of these burdens. Burdens of having to do things alone, Relationships that don't serve you. Burdens of self-doubt. Money fears and worries. She's just kind of naming any of these burdens and worries that keep you from sharing your light, keep you from being bolder in your career, from taking those steps that you want to take. Burdens of fatigue and tiredness. And even if you don't know or you're not sure what the burdens are, just as you're standing there, see all of this dark smoke just coming out of you, being released. It's just being released. All the stuff that your soul is saying, nope, you've already processed enough. You don't need to take this with you. The full moon on top of you is acting like a magnet, pulling it all out. It's coming out of your heart, out of your feet, out of the crown of your head. Just see all of this dark smoke just releasing, being released. And with my own hands as I channel Reiki to you, I'm just clearing, 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 clearing. And your soul now comes next to you. And you are surprised, delighted to see in front of you your beautiful inner child. This is your phoenix child, right? Your, your healed inner child that was never wounded, was always protected by your soul. See this beautiful inner child of yours. And she is radiant and she's so happy. She is so open. She is innocent and pure, has faith 
to move mountains, trust. She's this magical inner child. And she is looking at you. She knows who you are and she is smiling at you. And she says, I know. I know the steps you need to take to have the most joy, abundance, to help the most people. And she's like, will you let me lead you? And as you stand there, you notice, you might notice also other inner children or another inner child. And she might look scared or lonely or tired. She might look a little neglected or very neglected. And your magical child looks at her and sends her so much love. And you understand that it is your job, your great honor to take care of all of your wounded inner children, to love them, to embrace them, to have clear boundaries with them as well, to say, I'm the adult, you are safe. I'm not gonna exile you. I'm not gonna pretend you're not there. I love you. And see that wounded child part or that tired child part. See her receiving this beautiful healing. She might change, she might, her clothes might change, her light might change. And you know that this will continue, this journey will continue long after this transmission ends. So you're standing there, your soul is next to you, your inner children are there and your phoenix magical child is in front of you. And she starts skipping towards the summer solstice. There she is standing with that beautiful spotlight on her and you go to her, you hold her hand and all of your parts are there with you. Even if, they, even if they have wounds, even if they're not sure, that's okay. They feel safe with you. And you're standing there holding the hand of your magical child. Your soul standing there looking so delighted, so much love. Receive that spotlight of the summer solstice. Feel your heart opening, your third eye. See those peacock feathers emerging. As you say, yes, 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 I'm ready, I'm willing to step forward into this next half of the year. To be bolder, to be more vulnerable and tender with my offerings, to be honest with myself, to share my light in more profound ways than I have ever done before. It's okay to have fear as you say this. It's okay if parts of you are nervous, that's normal. I send them love. And seeing your beautiful soul's light go back into your beautiful heart. See your magical inner child. As she goes back into your heart. And all of your inner children, if other parts came out that hold wounds, see them, ask them where they want to go. They can go back inside. You can create an inner garden for them. They can have guardian angels around them. Whatever will help them feel safe. Feel the earth underneath your feet. Feeling so grounded and anchored and present. As we bring the palms of our hands together in front of our heart and we take a moment to see everyone here who's watching live, everyone who's going to watch the recording. Take a moment to visualize 
everyone's heart so lit up and their peacock feathers bright and radiant. And then look down at your own heart and, and just see how beautiful and lit up your heart is. Maybe you look behind you and you see, oh my gosh, there are my peacock feathers. No more hiding. And we bow and we end with a namaste. Namaste. Have a nice stretch. As you gather yourself, I am going to... Hello, I see a couple of new people. Mary Lou, Dory, welcome. Colleen, you need... Oh, you're welcome. So glad you're here. So I am burning some sage to see this being sent to all of you to help you ground, to help clear. And I'm just waving the peacock. So remember, you know, that the healing that we did right now, you know, is going to continue to unfold, not just today, but this whole week and really the rest of the year. So if you have any time today to have alone time, to take a walk, to journal, you know, to take care of yourself, just to receive the integration, let yourself do that. And if you're watching this recording, I just want to say, and you happen to watch it and it's not June and it's not a full moon and it's not 2019, that's okay. Like the energy of the healing here is available to you. I just want to say that because that I, I often watch transmissions of my teacher and she might be like in 2016 lunar eclipse and I'm watching it and I'm kind of like, oh, well now we're 2019 and it's like June, but I've recognized that oh my, the healing still happens. So whenever you watch this, trust your soul led you exactly to watch this at the right time. And those of you who are here now, you, I really recommend watch it again. And you don't have to watch the whole teaching. You could just forward to the meditation, but listen to it again and receive it in a different way. Maybe lie down or journal or be outside. And, you know, each time you'll receive more guidance. So I'm going to pull some cards for you and just a couple of announcements. And I do write those on because then I'll forget. One, if you want to schedule a private session with me, Go to my website, lisaespinosa.net, that's L-I-S-A-E-S-P-I-N-O-S-A.net, and go to the Start Here page, and I offer a free 45 minutes to one hour session where we'll talk about, like, where you are, where you want to go, and if I'm the person to mentor you, right, as a spiritual career coach, I would love, love to talk to you. I'm going to be traveling a lot in July, but I have my August... I have some spots in August already open. I'm going to be opening up my fall, a lot of my fall schedule this week. So, uh, and I might, might have maybe a few in June left. So don't put it off if your soul is guiding you to do that. Go ahead, go to the start here page. There's a couple of questions. There's a questionnaire um, that I, that you have to fill out and you'll fill that out and then you'll receive a link to my online calendar. So there's that. Uh, Facebook Live next Monday the 24th and then July 1st so the next two Mondays Facebook Live yay I will be doing another Reiki for your career virtual healing transmission oh my gosh the first one aside from the tech issues that I had at the beginning which I will not have this time was so amazing and that is gonna be on July 21st also $13 so if you are interested sign up it is amazing and I'm so excited. I'm not going to say yet what it is. I think I will announce it next week. Okay. You know I'm writing my second book. That is A Labor of Love, Birthing the Priestess Within. And I'm, I'm, have, I'm birthing another offering that my soul was like brought to me. So I will be, that will emerge in the fall. But I will be um, starting to talk about that. I think either next week or the week after that. So I'm super excited. And yeah, my parts are nervous too. But that's how it is, right? That's how it is. Our soul always knows we're ready before we know we're ready. So it's so important that we listen. We're like, okay, you know I'm ready. I'm going to take that step, even though it's scaring me. So, okay. Let's see. So this is from Soulful Woman Oracle. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Katie. <laughs> so I think of these as a postcard from your soul. And if you're a male watching this, totally for you. You know, our soul is beyond gender. It's, and we have the divine feminine and divine masculine. Yes, yay, Colleen, for sure. <laughs> and let's 
see what your soul, what message your soul has for you this week on today's full moon and summer solstice. Ooh. Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, feminine law of attraction. I love the creative adventure that is my life. I celebrate myself as a female creator. Look at this picture. This is like the vortex of law of attraction. If you've ever read Hicks, right, Abraham? Like, look at that. I want you to visual, I feel like this is like your soul saying, visualize this. There you are with this beautiful vortex of what you want to create, of what your soul is guiding you to create. And as a divine feminine, there you are nurturing it, receiving it. And then the divine masculine comes and says, okay, I receive it. What are the action steps I need to take? And starts taking those. Oh, love this. Here we go. And of course, had to pull a moon deck, moon card from the moon deck today since it's a full moon. So let's see. I have gotten this card. Like four times in a row. In fact, before I, when I took them out, that one fell out. Here we go again. Okay. Conscious eating nourishes me. There is a big message about eating for all of you, all of us. I mean, and it might seem like, well, what does that have to do with my, with my soul and with, oh my gosh, it has so much to do. When we're on a spiritual path, our Everything gets affected and our diet, our eating or the eating or maybe our family's eating all together at all is so important. So this to me, it's like eat food this week. It's not about depriving yourself, but it's about being so mindful to make sure that you're eating foods that are honor you, that respect you, that allow your intuition to flourish, that allow you to, you know, Doreen Virtue wrote this book, um, Nutrition for Intuition. I never read it, so I'm not probably as good. I'm not sure. But the point is that absolutely, yes, Lorenzo is saying I've gotten that the last two times. I know. <laughs> and Colleen's like, I'm drinking my celery juice as I watch this. Absolutely. I have been on this food cleanse as well. And again, I know sometimes we're like, oh my gosh, like I'm already doing so many things. But food is so important. And what I'm one of the things I'm writing about in my new book is that our soul wants us to embody it. We are meant to activate our body as divine technology. We are meant to activate our body to carry more of our soul's light. And one of the ways, the most important ways we do it is by the food that we eat. So just bringing that awareness this week to yourself. Again, not about depriving. Have the energy of abundance, of nourishing yourself. As if you were pregnant, like if you, if you've ever been pregnant or not, but just imagine that you're pregnant because you are, you're, you're pregnant with, this new creation, how lovingly would you take care of yourself? What food would you, you really be mindful of eating, right? That's what this is about. Yay. Okay. What are we surrendering? Surrender, surrender. Oh my gosh. It fell out. So I guess this is what it is. Oh my gosh. And it's got a full, oh my, and the, okay. I just want to say the angels are in here doing all these things. It just flew this out again. So Obviously, this is a really important message because this literally just flew out, but there we go. Nutrition and this surrender to divine timing. Sometimes divine timing may differ from your ego's timing. If a goal isn't manifesting fast enough, according to your ego, be patient and trust the universal flow. Look at that. Look at that full moon. I love that image. Divine timing, divine timing, divine timing. I, I'm getting this message of like use an affirmation, right? I trust in divine timing. I'm exactly where I'm meant to be right now doing the one of my teachers. He says like I'm at the right place at the right time doing the right thing. I love that. Try that. Okay, finally. Sacred Traveler. It just seemed like this deck was so important because I see you all of us as this traveler right on this golden path. What's the message as we, and I feel like the summer solstice is like, you're taking a little rest, like, oh, okay, wow, look at all that has happened these first six months. And then, wow, okay, where do I want to go the rest of the year? Oh my gosh, two came out. Okay. Oh, so perfect. First light, beginning a new cycle. Yes. 
Yes, yes, yes. That's what this full moon is about. Yes, culmination. And like new cycle beginning. Oh my gosh, I love this. I'm enjoy Oh, thank you, Colleen. Yep. Look at this. Perfect. And passion and pleasure. This is like such a summer solstice image. Savor your life. Enjoy it. So your soul is saying this is not about being a martyr. This is not about sacrifice. This is about loving yourself, saying yes to your soul, being tender and vulnerable and enjoying all that she wants to give to you. So first light, beginning of a new cycle and passion and pleasure. All right, beautiful women and men. It's always such a joy to connect with all of you. Um, I will see you next Monday. Please share these transmissions with others. I, um, yeah, just share it. Let people know. I'm so grateful for all of you taking the time to like to say yes, taking the time to spend this, this moment with me. All right. Bye everyone. Mwah. Happy full moon. Happy summer solstice. I would love to see your inner child altar, by the way. So if you want to post them on Facebook or if, if yeah, however you want to show me, I'd love to see that. Thank you for seeing my, my inner children. They're very happy to share myself with you. <laughs> Bye everyone. See ya.